your phone rings at home, what kind of phone is it? KCTV5's Emily Sinovic reports new numbers show that not everyone has cut the cord on phone service. When you Google landline, the first few links that pop up in the search are definitions, explainers about what a landline is and how it works, you know, just in case the kids these days need a little background for what we're talking about. But people still use landlines, just a lot less, a lot less than ever. There's a new study out. It was conducted by the National Center for Health Statistics. It found more than half of U.S. households, 53.9%, rely entirely on cell phones, no landlines, which also means nearly half of U.S. households still have landlines. It's kind of hard to tell which part of that stat is more surprising. But either way you look at it, it's a huge change from a 2006 survey when only 15.8% of U.S. households said they didn't have landlines. Going from 15 to 53% of households with landlines in just over 10 years, well, that's a pretty big bump. Of course, there are pros and cons to both, but the biggest benefit survey respondents like about wireless over landline was having more control over when you're available with things like do not disturb settings and connecting one phone to multiple numbers, rerouting calls depending on who's calling, of course. One of the researchers explained the trend by pointing out 10 years ago, it was considered risky to cut your landline. And today, it's just common sense. I'm Emily Sinovic, KCTV 5 News.